Picked up the generator. The rebuild is complete. Everything's reassembled. Took about four months. Most of that delay was my own doing. Originally, I took them the dismantled block to see if they could identify which Kubota 300 series engine I actually had. I couldn't find a serial number or a badge anywhere on the unit. That took about a month. And uh, once we figured that out, the badge was painted over right here. EL300-E. You can check out my previous video on dismantling and removing the generator from the boat. And uh, the cause of the problem was some water intake through the exhaust valve. It corroded the liner, which chewed up the rings, which caused poor compression and blow by. I had a bunch of exhaust blowing into the engine room through the, the breather hose. So once we identified the proper model, the mechanic was able to order all the necessary parts for a rebuild. See the first line of labor here, they didn't actually finish, which was to clean, blast, and paint. I didn't realize that until I got home, but the, uh, the heat exchanger here has been cleaned up, but it needs to be repainted around the bolts. I've got some white metal high gloss paint here at the house. Um, brush on type, just Rust-Oleum. So I'm gonna do that with a chip brush. And then the head was replaced by the previous owner and it was never painted. So you can see in here, that's all corroded. I'm gonna try to, with a wire uh, metal brush, try to clean that up. And I'll just throw some white paint on it to slow the uh, corrosion. So the rest of the parts list is a new cylinder liner, ring set, new intake and exhaust valves, head gasket, cover gasket, some O-rings and other gaskets. Gaskets for, for things like the, uh, the fuel pump, the muffler fitting, uh, the head cover gasket. So all in, parts and labor. You can see it here, it's about 300 bucks in parts and 767 in labor. So 1123 out the door. About $200 of the parts and labor was to install a oil drain valve. The way the engine was installed on the pan in the engine room due to the low headroom and available space, the drain plug, which is on the lower right here, which is actually also an oil integrate, an integrated oil screen as well. The thing is long. It's like, I don't know, maybe four or five inches long. Uh, when I pull that plug, the oil, I can't get a tube or a funnel between the the pan and the engine to catch the oil. So I had to let it all drain into the pan and then sponge it all up with some absorbent rags. Awful messy. So now uh, they were able to tap a hole through that oil plug, put this tube assembly in and a valve and a threaded uh, fitting on the end. And I think that's the same size as the quick oil change on the main engine. So I'll be able to use my um, cordless drill powered extractor pump to suck all the oil out of the gen set, just like the main. Next step is to clean up and paint. And I also need to lighten this thing to be able to lower it into the engine room by myself. Um, I don't want to pull the head again since it's a new gasket and everything's seated, but uh, same for the heat exchanger up here. So I'm thinking I'll, I'll pull the whole intake manifold, air filter assembly and the muffler which is the other black can behind the air filter. Remove those, and then the starter motor, that thing's gotta be 10 pounds. I'll pull that off. And then the, the round piece of steel that the starter is bolted to actually makes a nice handle for lifting it. Here is the backside. I would love to pull the flywheel, but I don't have the tools to, um, spin that bolt and keep the engine from turning over. And I see they bent uh, the washer as a, a way to keep that nut from shaking off. There's already part of the, the flywheel assembly, the, the belt adapter. Uh, it's like a metal bell housing that's back at the boat. Um, and that thing probably weighed five, six, seven pounds. So that makes it lighter. But you can see here the muffler on the upper right. I'll pull all that and uh, actually that could use some black paint. So yeah, I'll clean that up and paint it as well. And this looks like it's galvanized, this heat shield. Maybe I'll just strip that and paint it black. And you can see in the back here, 
and the rusty head. I'm not going to be able to get all that rust off, but I'll do my best to remove as much as possible. working. Get all of it for me. Got the first coat of white and black applied and the rain started so that'll be it for today i'll have an update next week thanks for watching